Okay, so now let's look at example one together. So now you have two data. I already told you we're doing bivariate, so you can see one is x, one is y. So this is x, this is y. So this is a table given to you. You're going to use your calculator to calculate rx, y. So now we're going to use your calculator. So please make sure from yesterday's YouTube videos that I've sent, you are able to put everything into the calculator and calculate r. Okay, I don't want to hear any issues, but if you have, just text me, I'll help you out. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't really have all the calculators with me here, so you may need. Um, I mean, I only can send you. I've only probably sent you two: one for the black calculator, one for the silver. Those using the other calculators, please try to YouTube it and make sure you know how to find it. All you have to do is plug in the values, the pairs of data here, into the calculator and calculate R. Okay. So let's look at the example. So the first part of the question is asked you plot a scatter diagram and calculate R X Y. So plot the scatter diagram. This is what you need to plot for me. Uh, same way the way I taught you. So in this case, they already gave you what is X, what is Y. You just follow price per liter X and Y is sales. You can see it doesn't start from zero. So like I told you, start with whichever value you want as long all the points are in the region, not touching the axis. I checked some of your work. Your points are touching the axis. Cannot. Points cannot touch the axis. Understand? It must be within the graphing region here. Okay? So you plot the points, then you plot the mean point. Can you see the mean point? I know the value is like this. You just aga aga la. Okay? Aga aga. I plot it there. Have a dotted line. Your line must go through. Try to make sure equal amount of points up and down. You see, in this case, there are seven pairs of data. It cannot be equal. Cannot be equal, then you can you see that? I put one point on the line. So I'm left with three up and three down. So I would expect something like that from you as well. Title your graph, label your axis. This is a proper scatter plot. Scatter plot is four marks in your final exam. It always comes out from all the diagrams I saw. Most of you got it right, except for some of your points being on the axis. That's one mistake. No title, another mistake. And not labeling your axis. And some of you, your line must go through the mean point. Okay, I saw it didn't go through. You don't need to calculate all this. This is just for reference because it's my teaching slide. You you should already put it into the calculator and you will get RXY as negative 0 0.53 when you actually calculate. You can actually pause my video, okay? Draw the scatter plot, then you can unpause and continue with finding the RXY, okay? Because if I take a long pause, this file will be very big, okay? So let's look at the next one. Comment on the relationship between the price. So comment on the relationship. You're going to use this scale. The one that I just taught you in the last slides, okay, this is negative 0 0.53. Where is 0 0.53? Inside where? Inside here, isn't it? So, moderate negative linear relationship between, you want to write between X and Y, I got no issue because here they gave you X and Y. No problem, you can write between X and Y. Or between the price of petrol and the sales is up to you, okay? Next one. The audit pair, I'm just going to go on. If you are still doing it, you pause and you just play, okay? The audit pair for data 2, data 2 is this one, this one. A Sunday was considered to be an outlier and was removed. So now you are going to take it out, all right? You're going to take it out. How to take out? Please don't go and re-enter everything. I already do the same method edit your data like how i taught you how to edit that one it's actually the same way for the black calculators you press up you go to your data for two you change the frequency to zero for x and y okay for the silver calculators easy go into your table and just delete that pair off okay the frequency for x must be zero the frequency for y must be zero in your calculator black calculators silver calculators easy go to the table delete it okay so you're going to calculate the new value so that this is the in your slides you will see that's the outlier that we have taken out you don't need to redraw the scatter plot actually this is a teaching slide that's why it's here so after you take it out you will get negative 0.74 what can you see from that negative 0.74 initially it was negative 0.53 you take out outlier relationship has become stronger why stronger is moving closer to negative one you understand okay it is still a moderate negative linear relationship but it's a stronger relationship so whenever they ask you what is the effect of outlier please write this down what is the effect of outlier on the correlation coefficient standard answer outlier cause false relationship okay because just now the outlier with the outlier gave you negative 0.53 right 
when you take out it gave you negative zero it's the correct relationship so out so whenever the question will ask you what is the effect of outlier your answer must be the effect of the outliers cause false relationship this is a standard question it always comes out in the exam i only want to see this answer outliers cause false relationships everybody okay all right so that's example one so now basically you can actually go on move on and continue with your manual which i will send another video for exercise 2.1 don't worry but up to this point you should be able to plot your scatter diagram without any problems you should be able to calculate mean and standard deviation using calculator calculate your r using calculator and also manually because i went through the formulas comment on the relationship and comment on the effect of outlier what's the effect of outlier outlier causes false relationship all right